A lot of you have requested me to make a video on how to increase Fortnite's FPS for Mac. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Before we start, make sure your Mac is running the latest version of macOS, which right now is macOS High Sierra. You also need a Mac that was released from 2012 and above and is compatible with Apple's graphics API, Metal. For a full list of Macs that are compatible with Metal, look at the link in the description. First, with Fortnite launched, go into the Settings menu. From here, make sure that all the settings are set to the lowest point, that the frame rate is set to unlimited, and that V-Sync and Motion Blur is turned off. Next, turn on the FPS meter. From here, start playing Fortnite with the goal of getting at least an average frame rate of 23 to 25 FPS. If your FPS is still too low, try playing in full screen mode or even windowed mode. Set the 3D resolution and display resolution to something you are comfortable with. Remember, the smaller the resolution, the more FPS you'll get. Also, lowering the audio quality appears to help a little. Before launching Fortnite, make sure that no applications are running in the background, which can use up your max resources. Also, go into System Preferences, Users and Groups, Login Items, and remove any unwanted login items that are also using up resources. This method might be obvious to some, but it's worth a try. Now it's time to edit some files. Find the Finder icon in your dock, right click it, and then click Go to Folder. Enter in the following command and hit Go. This command is also in the description. With the folder now open, find Game User Settings. Before we do anything, make a copy of it anywhere on your Mac, just in case you want to put the settings back to how they originally were. Now to open this file, right click it, then click Open With, then click Other. You should see a box now with all your installed applications. Find and open Text Edit. We're going to change six lines here. First, find resolution size X. It should be set to 1048 and the resolution size Y to 576. Then the last user confirmed resolution size X to 1048 and then last user confirmed resolution size Y to 576. You can also go lower than this resolution, such as 640 by 480, or if you want to get into HD, try 1280 by 720. Moving on, find sg.resolutionquality and change it to 80. Okay, we're done here. Make sure the settings are like mine and hit the save button. It's important to mention, any changes you make here will be erased if you change the resolution size and windowed mode within Fortnite's in-game settings. Here are some programs that can somewhat increase FPS. It won't be that much, but it's worth a go. Disk Inventory X is another program that shows you what is taking up the most space on your Mac. This is great to Free up space on your drive, leading to a faster and snappier Mac. And last is CC Cleaner, which finds files on your Mac that are not important and will delete them. It's important to mention that if you have less than 10 gigabytes of space on your Mac, this can lead to your computer slowing down. If nothing has worked so far, we have two final methods. First, you can install Windows 10 via Bootcamp on your Mac to run the game through the Windows operating system. Windows is better optimized for gaming, so you should get better performance here when running Fortnite. Or you could try using GeForce Now, a cloud streaming game service. However, 
It is only available in North America and Europe right now. A guide to use these programs is in the description. And that's my guide on increasing Fortnite's FPS on Mac computers. I hope this has helped in some way. Let me know which Mac model are you playing Fortnite on and how is it performing after watching this video? Leave a like and subscribe to show your support. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.